Out of the thousands of AFL finals that have been played, there are a select few that really leave fans on the edge of their seats. These are four times AFL finals went down to the wire. In their 2023 semi-final against Melbourne, Carlton went in as underdogs, but they ended up delivering a remarkable performance. With just 70 seconds left, the Blues trailed by only 5 points. Ollie Holland's kick out wide wasn't perfect, but Judd McVie's missed spoil opened the door for the Blues. Sam Doherty took the opportunity, taking a bounce and launching a powerful kick to the goal square. Blake Akers rose up for the important high-flying mark and quickly played on, igniting a deafening roar from the Carlton crowd. Later on, Mitch McGovern had the footy on the wing, attempting to chip it to Jesse Motlop, but Judd McVie intercepted the kick and passed it to Tom Sparrow. Sparrow played on quickly, trying to kick the ball around Adam Chera, but completely miskicked it, hitting Chera in the face. The ball went to Jake Lever, who just needed to pass it to Adam Tomlinson, but Lever couldn't pick it up. Soon after, Tom DeConing got hold of the ball and quickly hacked it forward. With only a few seconds left, Matthew Kennedy reached the ball and socketed it through for a point. There wasn't enough time for the Demons to score as Carlton secured their spot in the prelim final against Brisbane at the Gabba the following week. The Demons missed the opportunity to win their second premiership in two years, and it all came down to not kicking straighter. The 2014 semi-final clash between North Melbourne and Geelong was one to remember. In the final two minutes, Geelong needed a goal to level scores. A crucial moment occurred when Mark Blitzovs delivered a perfect tap to Joel Selwood on the burst, who, despite tumbling, managed to hook a high ball towards the goal square, and the ball ended up with Luke McDonald. McDonald passed it to Grimer, who hesitated before doing a quick 1-2 with Daniel Wells, leading to a tackle by Matthew Stokes. With 41 seconds left, Todd Goldstein's tap went straight to Andrew Swallow, but he was slung by Mark Blitzovs as he cleared the ball. Umpire Pennell called it deliberate. Andrew Mackey wasted no time sending in a well-aimed high forward entry, but it was Todd Goldstein who emerged as the hero. Goldstein quickly passed it with a short kick to Jack Zebel. With only 11 seconds left, Mitch Brown intercepted the ball on the wing and quickly sent it in to Andrew Mackey, but as his kick floated forward, the siren sounded. The Kangaroos moved through to play Sydney in a prelim final the following week. The 2019 prelim final between Collingwood and GWS was quite a nail biter. With just two minutes left, GWS was holding on to a slim four point lead when Tom Phillips won himself a high free kick against Nick Haynes. Things got pretty hectic after that. Brody Grundy had a chance to kick it inside 50, but he fumbled the ball and ended up on the ground thanks to Shane Mumford's tackling pressure. A ball up followed and the footy ended up on the wing, where Jamie Elliott got tackled and the ball rolled out of bounds. Things got interesting when Grundy tapped the ball to himself, setting up a play that got the ball into the Pies forward 50. Despite Haynes waiting behind the footy, he couldn't take the mark. Aiden Kaur tried to push off Jamie Elliott on the boundary, but Elliott's tackle forced the ball out of bounds and the umpire called it deliberate. The next play saw Callum Brown's high centre and kick spoiled by Mumford to Heath Shaw, and Josh Thomas was quick on the tackle. Mumford then stole the footy from the rock, faked out Pendlebury, and banged a clearing kick out of defence. Despite the efforts of Steel Sidebottom and Darcy Moore, they couldn't secure possession. Another ball up followed, this time from 45 metres out. Josh Kelly came close to winning the clearance, but fumbled, leading to another ball up. Brody Grundy's tap wasn't perfect, going straight to Nick Haynes, who cleared the ball with just 15 seconds left. Moore's mid-tackle handball found Braden Maynard in plenty of space. Sam Taylor's punch sent the ball into the air, 
By the time Jacob Hopper got the ball and had his kick smothered out of bounds, the siren had sounded. GWS had just made it to the first grand final in the history of their club, making it a truly historic moment. In the 2020 prelim final against Richmond at Adelaide Oval, Port had a shot at making their first grand final since that tough 2007 loss to Geelong. With just two minutes left and Richmond up by a goal, tensions were high. Dan Houston blasted his kick out to the centre of the ground and despite Noah Bolter's attempt to take the mark, Todd Marshall knocked it away. Stevie Motlop got the ball, but his poor kick down the line to Robbie Gray went straight to the boundary line. It could have been called deliberate, but Motlop got lucky and it was just a throw in. Toby Nankervis won the tap to Trent Cotchen, but the captain's short kick led to a ball up. Xavier Dersma desperately cleared the area, hoping that the power would score after dropping an easy chess mark in the goal square earlier in the match. Charlie Dixon almost took a mark after two grabs at it, but Jaden Short knocked it out of his hands. Nathan Broad's punch to the boundary line resulted in another throw in. Broad cleared the 50, but Dersma took a courageous intercept mark while running back with the flight. Swinging onto his right, Dersma aimed his kick in the Dixon direction. Five Tigers strategically surrounded the port full forward as Nan Curvis secured an extremely crucial mark. After taking 10 seconds off the clock, he kicked it down the line. The footy went over the heads of Scott Lysette and Jack Rewalt, reaching Tom Rockcliffe, who quickly snapped it forward. Broad knocked it out of Peter Laddam's hands, sending it over the boundary line. Following Dustin Martin's soccer over the boundary line, a missed boundary throw in and a bounce that favoured Dion Prestia, Kane Lambert sent it inside 50 for the yellow and black, but Tom Clory had smartly positioned himself for the defensive 50 mark. He bombed the ball straight down the middle, knowing that time was of the essence. Players collided before Robbie Gray socketed a high ball off the ground into Port's 50. Could the power secure a last second mark for a chance to win? No, they couldn't. Richmond had placed Tom Lynch in the back line, where he took the simplest of intercept chess marks you'll ever see. Richmond triumphed, moving through to the 2020 Grand Final at the Gabba, where they went on to defeat Geelong to claim the 2020 AFL Premiership. Which AFL Final do you consider the greatest of all time? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one.